Radon gas is the second leading cause of lung cancer in Canada, yet you can't see it, smell it, or taste it. But you can test for radon in your home to protect yourself. Professor Aaron Godarzi is here now with what radon is and what we can all do about it. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Well, why don't we start, first of all, with what is radon? So radon is a radioactive gas that's a natural component of soil gas under the ground, under all of our houses and buildings. And basically it's a decay product of radium in our soils. So that's pretty prevalent throughout the prairie provinces. So wow. Are we over. particularly vulnerable here in southern Alberta? We are. We are. Uh, the geology of southern Alberta means there's quite a lot of rad radon bearing minerals in the soil throughout all of our cities in this part of the world. Wow. So why do we need to be concerned about this gas? What does it do to us? Why is it the second leading cause of lung cancer? Right. So, so radon is, is radioactive, it, meaning it, as it decays and we inhale it, it emits a type of radiation called alpha radiation. Now alpha radiation is much more dangerous compared to say your, your regular x-ray because of what it does to our DNA and it mutates our DNA. Wow. And I have a couple you of demonstrations. You can demonstrate this yeah, for us. Yeah, I show can us. demonstrate that. So you know, if this is a, a piece of DNA here, you know, the DNA double helix, mm -hmm. um, um, if you're exposed to just sort of your regular x-ray, that's going to create some breaks and it's create some single-stranded breaks and occasionally it's going to make a DNA double-stranded break like that. Oh. But yeah, thankfully it's pretty easy for our cells to put those back together and to do so with extreme accuracy. So no harm, no foul okay. in that case. However, with radon, it's a totally different scenario. What the DNA damage produced by radon does is really shreds your DNA in large quantities mm. in close proximity. Oh. So it's going to create those breaks and it's going to create quite a lot of those breaks. Okay? And it's going to keep doing that in a very clustered area, shredding the whole thing apart, okay? making it extremely difficult wow. for your cell to put that back together. And not only that, you're going to have fragments of DNA oh, coming from all this. over the place. So wow. the mutations produced by the radon gas are extremely mutagenic in terms of cancer formation, right? And so they drive cancer in our cells. And this is why radon is classified by the United Nations, World Health Organization, as a class one carcinogen. Same category as asbestos, mustard gas, tobacco. Wow. And yet so many of us don't know what this is. When I pitched this story in our story meeting, nobody knew what I was talking about. Why is there some kind of block here when it comes to radon? So it, it's, it's simply a question of how far the science has gotten okay. in the past little while. So really, radon awareness in Canada is about a decade behind perhaps the United States or Europe. And that's because we just haven't quite caught up in terms of public awareness. And it really takes a local champion. We're really trying to reverse that trend because it's very telling that we have about over 350 Albertans walk into our clinics each year They've never smoked a day in their life, but they've got lung cancer, right? Wow. And we think that's all due to radon. To radon. That's scary. Okay, but the good news is, is there is something we can do about it. So this is great. Yes. What can we do? Right. So the first step is to test your house for radon. It's a pretty straightforward test. We have an example device right, just here. Right, over here. Yeah, that's what right. This is what comes to you in the mail. And that's what comes okay. to you in the mail. So if you sign up um, with our University of Calgary study, mm -hmm. uh, we will ship you a, uh, a small device that's called an alpha track detector, meaning it detects the alpha radiation. You stick that in your house anywhere for 90 days between the months of October to the end of April. Oh, so now's a good time. Now is the right time. In fact, it's, it's, we're running out of time, right? So February is about the, the last time you can put it in the house to get that 90 days, right? So sign up now and uh, we'll get one of those into uh, your houses um, and then you just ship it back. We'll provide all the prepaid envelopes to shipping it back to the lab. It gets read. Uh, you'll get your reading. Um, in a relatively short period of time, you know, a few weeks to perhaps a month, depending on the, uh, you know, the, the shipping postal sure, service. Sure, sure. And, um, and then you get your reading. Now, if your reading is high, if it's over what Health Canada indicates is the maximum acceptable guideline, which is called 200 becquerels per cubic meter of air, okay. right, then the advice is that you should mitigate. Now, that's also very straightforward, and we found in Alberta extremely effective. So it's a good news story. You can prevent yourself from being at risk from radon-induced lung cancer. Wonderful.